Pertussis, also known as whooping cough, can be especially dangerous for the little ones. It really can. So Dr. Laura Fetty from Marshall Health mm -hmm. is joining us now to tell us about pertussis vaccines and just why it is so important. So thank you for being yes. here yes, today. I'm very happy to be here and represent uh, Marshall Health and uh, Marshall Pediatrics. It's a pleasure. Uh, so first off, I'll just let start by telling you a little bit about the pertussis. So yes, pertussis please. is a, um, it's a bacteria okay. that can get into the lungs and it attaches to the lungs and it really releases toxins and it causes edema and swelling, lots of mucus, okay? So you can imagine in the little ones, in particular with real small airways, it yes. can be very uh, dangerous mm -hmm. uh, and deadly to, to, the, to all ages, but especially the tiny ones. Yeah. So of course, in the beginning of life, the first couple of months, the uh, infants don't have the ability, they don't have the vaccine yet. Right. They don't get their mm -hmm. first vaccine until uh, the second month of life, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, then they start the series of pertussis vaccines, okay? Mm -hmm. So they're at particular, at, particularly at risk right? at that point. And they're too little. They can't tell us yep. what's bothering them or yep. everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got, as you said, starting at two months mm -hmm. old, that's when they should start getting vaccine. Is this all infants? Mm -hmm. All It is recommended that all yeah. infants do that. Mm -hmm. And there's actually, they get at second month of life, fourth month, sixth month, and then mm -hmm. again at 15 months. Yeah. And then the next one is, I believe, age 11. But okay. it's also important if you do have a little one, mm -hmm. I know that mm -hmm. um, expecting mamas, you can get mm -hmm. it while you're still uh, in your pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And also, I remember them saying, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. anybody who's going to be around the baby, please go yeah. and get that updated vaccine. Yeah. That is is correct, and that's really what I wanted to focus on, mm -hmm. was protecting our our small children under yes. the age of one, in particular by all caregivers who would be adult caregivers being up to date on their uh, tetanus or their uh, pertussis vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone can get that shot. It's it's easily um, accessible in, at pharmacies. You can get it at your physician's, primary care physician's office. Mm -hmm. um, you can get it uh, at any of the pharmacies. Um, and we encourage you to come to our pharmacy at Marshall, mm -hmm. uh, Marshall with Marshall Health. You can come to the pharmacy uh, at Cabell Huntington Hospital, Marshall okay. Pharmacy, and get a vaccine there. And we're actually offering a little incentive. Um, we have a grant uh, from the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, gave us a grant and we are giving $20 gift cards wow. to any of the adults who will come and get vaccinated through the Marshall Pharmacy, bring proof of their vaccine okay. to the pediatrics floor, which is on the third floor uh, at the hospital. Uh, and then they can get the $20 gas card. Oh, wow. That's yeah, that's great. a nice incentive. And really just for right. doing something to protect yourself <laughs> and other people. You should be doing anyway. Yes, yes. correct. So, so is this just kind of like a walk-in kind of thing? Just yes. Just come and at so your leisure? It, it would be, the best hours would be, especially to be able to pick up the gas card, would be mm. 9 to nine to 5 on Monday through okay. Friday. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That way someone in the Marshall, Pe Marshall Pediatrics office would be available and uh, to distribute the, the gas card. Yeah. Right, no, an extra sense. incentive. Um, I like that there. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, if people are not vaccinated, that mm -hmm. are going to be around these beautiful new babies mm -hmm. that are brought into their home, mm -hmm. maybe it's a grandchild, mm -hmm. what worst case scenario, which we hate to even mm -hmm. talk about, but I mean, even from a grandparent mm -hmm. or a, mm -hmm. a family member, they can really get sick. Correct. Mm -hmm. I have taken care of, we, I mean, it's, it's still around and people still get it. Right. Uh, and I have taken care of sick children and sick uh, elderly folks. Mm -hmm. um, we don't think about that, but uh, the older patients, because I'm med peds trained, so I take okay. care of adults as well. Uh, some of our older adult patients that are older than, you know, in their 60s and above uh, can get very sick and end up in the hospital for a week or two mm -hmm. and maybe have a terrible cough for several months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we do have treatment as far as we have antibiotics because it's a bacterial and so mm -hmm. you can treat it with an antibiotic but st and it can help cut down on the severity but it still may yeah. you still are going to have a long road to get better. Right. Better to try to prevent, right? Cor correct. Right. And, a, and a little infant, almost certainly, mm -hmm. if, if it gets it, is going to end up hospitalized. Mm -hmm. And we don't you want know. that mm -hmm. at all. No. Dr. Fetty, thank you so much for yes. being here today. And again, Great go reminder. get that vaccine and get a $20 gift card. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.